Eight on your side. As we count down to 2018, many of us plan to get a ride home after the New Year's Eve party is over. But gone are the days of hailing a cab. Instead, most of us will use a ride-sharing company if we are getting a ride. But if you aren't careful, that ride could cost you a pretty penny. News Channel 8's Amanda Shivari joins us live now from downtown Tampa. Amanda, you've been looking into the price of companies like Uber and Lyft for tonight. What have you found? Well, Evan, it's really simply supply and demand. More people will be out there trying to get a safe ride home, so these companies will be applying a surcharge. The whole idea to get more drivers out on the road during those busiest times. But Aid on Your Side has learned there is a way around this extra fee. When you open up apps like Uber and Lyft, those ride-sharing apps on a night like New Year's Eve, you won't be alone, so you need to plan ahead. Saving experts at the Penny Hoarder say you can call your ride outside of those busiest times. Here, listen to this. The best times to call an Uber just after midnight or after 3 a.m. And if you want to avoid that surcharge altogether, stay away from the most popular areas. Just hope for a couple blocks. Uh, surge pricing again is in zones. So if you're a few blocks away from a non surge zone, you can save yourself a ton of money. So here's what you need to do before you go out. Download apps like Surge Protector. They'll let you know where those zones are, and you can avoid those surcharges altogether if you walk outside of those zones. Now, it's important to remember, it's always better to take that Uber and pay a little bit more than get behind the wheel yourself if you've had anything to drink. Some perspective for you. Your first offense for DUI will cost you more than $6,000. So, Evan, the $20 Uber ride should not be a big deal. Yeah, likely to cost you your job as well. And most important, if something, God forbid, happens, that could be the exactly. worst case scenario. Amanda, let me ask you real quick. So you can download an app that shows you where the surge zones are and you just walk outside of it? Exactly, Evan. It's as simple as that. So you go on your phone and you download the app. The one that experts shared with us is Surge Protector. And what that'll do is it'll tell you that this block radius is that hot spot zone where you're going to have to pay the extra fee. But if you just walk simply outside of that zone, you won't have to pay it. Eight is literally on your side because I'm going to do that right now. That's actually very <laughs> helpful. Thank you very much, Amanda. Appreciate it.